Today we pray together for Steve and Amy Parlato and their work in Thailand and Laos. We give thanks for Steve and Amy and their disciple-making ministry in Northeast Thailand and join them in praying boldly for the Northeastern Thai Christians to enter every village until there is a responding church in every sub-district and the good news of Jesus has been personally presented to each ICN family. We pray that the Lao Evangelistic Church will send and support skilled disciples and church planters to Thailand and may Lao Christians receive a clear call from God to this important work. Finally, we pray that the Thai church leaders will, will resist activities which do not focus on disciple making and will prioritize stewarding new church starts in districts which don't have churches. Lord, in your mercy. Together we pray for John and Jim Keller and their work with navigators in Mongolia and the Caribbean. Lord, our prayers for John and Jin are first and foremost for Jin's health. We ask your healing touch and strength for Jin as she continues treatments and pray that you will give both her and John a sense of your presence, your wisdom, your guidance as they navigate the complicated aspects of her treatment. Relying your power made perfect in weakness, may we always know that you walk with them and are holding them close as, all, as are all who love them, including this congregation. We pray too that funding for their ministry will be sufficient so that budget needs will be met for this year. We join John, Jen, and the leadership team in Mongolia for their prayers that the Mongolians will come to, the underst to understand and commit to Jesus and his lordship in all areas of their lives. Finally, we pray for the navigator ministry in the English-speaking countries of the Caribbean as they discern a development plan for staff, convention, income laborers in the ministry. May God continue to grant John and Shisdom wisdom in their approach to mentorship of the staff of those countries. Lord, in your mercy. Together we pray for Mark Wittig and the Christian Union Sports Club in Columbia. We give thanks of the ministry leadership and join them in praying for the construction of the Displaced Community Center Project, Manitialis Discipleship Center. We pray for wisdom in the construction and for all the necessary resources to complete it in the community of 38,000 people with great needs, including a saving knowledge of Christ. We also pray for the ministry's extension program that is reaching about 5,000 participants. May God bring fruit in the lives of the group of kids who recently attended a retreat there. They have made decisions to follow Christ and are now in need of discipleship through the program. We ask God's provision and blessings. We also pray for the brownie business that has produced a record number of brownies and funds for the ministry. We pray for resources to purchase a new piece of chocolate cover and cooling equipment, which will increase production in a shorter amount of time. We pray, too, for a good response to a proposal with a major food store ch chain to become their brownie provider. Lord, in your mercy. Together we pray for our church partners in South Central Romania. We give you praise and thanks for Pastor Angel and lay Pastor Adrian and their many years of service to the church in Zimnica. We pray you continue to be with the faithful servants there and continue the church impact on the broader community that uh, needs to see God's divine nature. 
We also lift up our new TAB mission partnership with Pastor Daniel in the nearby villages of Piatra and Kopachenka. May he be filled with the hope and clear vision of your plans, Lord. We pray with the Romanian pastors uh, for your continued blessing on their work as they share the good news of your love for all. May they lead more people to know you and believe the good news of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, in our prayer. Together we pray for Emil Toder and Missio Link, Romania. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks and praise for our friend Emil, as well as the staff and volunteers that work across the country in the areas of children at risk, church and mission, and leadership development. May they be given the strength to continue the many works that impact hundreds of lives for your sake. Fill them with hope, vision, and wisdom as they lead ministries and impact lives. We pray, too, for the children that are served and kept safe because of the work of these faithful disciples. May you and your love more be made real to each child each day. We give you thanks and praise for the Children at Risk ministry team, especially for the house mothers, Deborah House, who work with the young orphan girls. We are grateful too, Lord, for the changes in the lives of the young women in the Aspiration Apartments and rejoice in every step they take towards an independent life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Together we pray for Marsha McKenna as he leads the ministry in Romania. Lord, we lift up our friend Marshall McKenna to you and pray for your presence, wisdom, and grace as his ministry shifts from sheltering Ukrainian refugees to providing safe transitional housing for women being released from incarceration and reunited with their children. We pray that you will continue to bless all those who are served by this ministry. May they know you, trust you, experience your love and believe in your goodness. Lord, may each person feel your presence within themselves and see your face in each other. May all those working in this ministry be given the strength and humility to continue to serve you for your glory. Lord, in your mercy. Together we pray for Jeff Prankratz, Todd Fisher, and the work of Justice Venture International. Gracious God, we join our friends at Justice Venture International in praying for the survivors of human trafficking in India and Nepal. Today we specifically lift into your merciful care five children ages 8 to 17 who were recently intercepted while being forced into labor situations, and four young girls who were recently rescued from a brothel and returned to their families. We are thankful for their rescues and for the justice that is being sought in both situations. God, as these children and many others walk the long journey of restoration and healing from traumas inflicted on them, may your grace and presence give them the strength and hope they need. We pray, too, for the hearts of those who walk with them on their recovery journeys. We ask for your protection and healing for the emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual health in the face of so much trauma. Finally, Lord, we pray for the upcoming India-wide Walk for Freedom, that thousands and even millions of ordinary citizens will become aware of the problem of human trafficking and will have a vision of how they can be part of eradicating modern slavery and transforming unjust communities into communities that reflect your love, where the human rights and dignity of the poor are respected. Lord, in your mercy,
Together we pray for neighborhood ministries in Phoenix, including Director Kit Daniels and one of TAB's own, Leonard Real, who serves in this ministry. We pray for all those connected to this ministry, which is far beyond a ministry, Lord. It is truly a community of hope comprised of those who lead, those who serve, those who are served, those who have great needs, and those who support the ministry with their resources of time, talent, and treasure. We pray that you would continue to bless this community with vision and hope, that it would continue to be a place where all will encounter you in mighty ways. We boldly pray for increased financial resources for the legacy programs, as well as those which are just emerging to meet ever-increasing needs. Finally, merciful God, we pray for the health and well-being of all who lead and work in the ministry, and we ask that any financial concerns which have arisen for the ministry would be removed in ways that only you can do. Lord, in your mercy. Provider God, we join the Johnsons as they, as, we, as they pray for the sustainability of all their ministry work, most importantly, the uh, Miriam Clinics, where there is need for a full-time missionary to serve in the clinic. So we boldly pray that you, Lord, are already moving in the heart of someone who has a desire to present Christ through medicine and who is willing to serve without the, the ex expectations for a large monetary gain. We pray that uh, additional staff needs, to, uh, needs will also be met. We pray that the challenges of administration and training and funding of the clinic will be overcome and that the staff will continue to serve as witnesses to Christ. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. hear our prayer. Together we pray for the Emoja Partnership and its leaders Leonard Otiendi, and Denise Solis. Holy God, we join the leadership of Emoja Partnership in giving thanks for their long-standing relationship with our congregation. We are grateful for the many ways you work in that partnership to provide for the children in Kenya. We pray your blessings on all of the school programs, particularly the El Yehobi Primary School, which is the 21st school of the Emoja Partnership and which was sponsored by contributions from TAB. Lord, as the school year in Kenya winds down, you know that the students at all levels, primary, junior high, and high school, are facing extremely important exams that will impact if and where they can attend school in the future. Yeah. Scholarships are at stake, which makes the pressure great. God, we pray that you would provide all that each student needs to be their best. May they be well nourished, rested, prepared, and calm. Give them confidence, Lord, and a peace of knowing that you are with them and that you love them and value them regardless of the test scores. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Together we pray for the Neighborhood Christian Legal Clinic. We lift up the ministry and staff of the clinic as they provide legal services and classes for the community and pray that they will be strengthened with wisdom, spirit-led discernment as they continue to develop strategic initiatives moving forward. We pray too for those facing injustice in this community and all in need of advocates and legal services in order to have justice, dignity, and peace. May there be additional opportunities and clarity and boldness for the staff to practically share the love of God with people who find themselves in desperate situations. May the Holy Spirit awaken Christian congregations to the development of need for the clinic services and stir powerful responses from them. Lord, in your mercy. Your 
Together we pray for Indy Grace Place and Executive Director Tab Nimber Dan Gushy, as well as the residents. God, we give you praise for Indy Grace Place and the patient, faithful ministry and transitional housing it provides to those re-entering society after incarceration. Today we pray with and for the needs of the residents. We pray for resident KK that he will be able to navigate all the challenges and that his new business endeavor will be successful. We pray for SF who has just returned from a 28 day inpatient addiction treatment program. He is excited to implement what he has learned about himself. We pray that he will lean into your power and be successful at conquering this disease. Finally, we pray for the residents who are older and have difficulty finding affordable permanent housing. It is challenging for all on fixed incomes, especially for those with a felony record. God, we pray you will, need, you will meet their many needs, especially for safe, affordable housing when they leave Indy Grace Place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Together we pray for the Oaks Academy and those who work and serve there. To you, O oh Lord, we lift up the students, families, faculty, and supporters of the Oaks Academy. We pray for the students, many of whom face daily challenges socially, emotionally, spiritually, and academically. May they be surrounded by folks who bring the love, compassion, and encouragement of Christ to them. We pray that you will provide for their needs and protect the light of joy within their spirit. We pray for the Oaks families who have prioritized their children's education in a faith-based environment, some amidst their own challenges. We pray for peace and resilience as they often navigate single parenthood, multiple jobs at low wages, and more. May they find hope in you and encouragement from the broader Oaks family. We pray for the faculty who are on the front lines day in, day out, willingly carrying heavy emotional loads, which is necessary to know and love their students well. Holy God, we pray for strength, encouragement, and peace, trusting that they don't need to be enough with their five loaves and two fish, but you, that you will multiply the blessings before them. Finally, we join the Oaks community in praying for the wider community of supporters. May decision makers be moved to share from blessings bestowed upon them for the benefit of others, that they may be a joyful giver and rejoice in the opportunity to make a difference in the lives of their neighbors in the way that Christ has taught. Lord, in your mercy. Merciful God, merciful God, we pray for the hardworking team at Raphael to be filled with the strength and resilience from the Holy Spirit so they might serve patients with grace and love, showing respect and offering dignity to all who come through the clinic doors both directly and via their community partner sites. The harsh reality of growing needs always appears greater than the capacity they have. We pray that, they, that the staff will rest in and rely on your strength and wisdom, the one who never leaves or forsakes us. We thank you, Lord, for the many ways that the health center is reaching far beyond the walls of their building through the partnerships. We especially pray, too, for the men uh, at one partner, the Salvation Army Recovery Center. They are fighting so many battles, yet are also winning so many victories. We pray for the Raphael team that works with them for the medical and behavioral health, uh, um, that they will be healers and hope givers in the name of Christ. Lord, may, be the, may the Raphael Health Center be a light of your love and grace 
to those who are living in darkness, spiritually, physically, and mentally. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Together we pray for Circles Indy, Executive Director Marie Weiss, and the leadership team. We lift up Marie and the leadership team, praying for strength and perseverance as they faithfully serve in this ministry every week. We especially pray for the new allies who have joined the ministry to offer encouragement and friendship to their circle leader matches. May the allies and their faith be strengthened through their service to this ministry. We pray too that a new coach will be hired to teach the getting ahead classes, which are foundational to each participant's progress towards stability. As the graduates chart their own path to stability with help of their circle of allies, we pray that they will be patient, wise, persistent, and successful at breaking the bondage of poverty and receive the life they desire and dignity they deserve as your beloved. Finally, we lift up the upcoming sneaker ball fundraiser on November 16th. May it be a success and may all participants find joy in celebrating the joy of fellowship and friendship with one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Together we pray for the Mid-North Food Pantry and new executor, Kelsey Burton. We pray for the leadership and board members of Mid-North Food Pantry and ask that they be encouraged as they help ensure that the pantry will continue to serve this community with enthusiasm and joy. We give thanks for the two new staff members and the energy, ideas, and ex expertise they bring to the pantry. We are also grateful for the many volunteers who pick up, stock, and distribute food each week and pray that more hearts will be moved to serve Christ by serving neighbors in need. We pray for those who are hungry, that they will receive food for both their body and their soul when they come to the safe place of Min North Food Pantry. Finally, God, may there always be enough, whatever is needed, food, volunteers, financial support, and leadership to ensure that the pantry continues to bring hope and help to those who need. Lord, in your mercy. Freewheeling Bikes, Executive Director Lanisha Clark, the staff, interns, and board members. Provider God, we are grateful for the way you have provided for this ministry of youth development for the way it has grown in mission and number, for the way it has impacted young people, and for the way it has served as a model of unity, this community, the, through shared interest of bicycles and safe cycling. As freewheeling grows internally and, ex and externally throughout the Indianapolis area, we pray for continued blessings and clear vision into the future. We lift up the leadership team and ask for discernment and direction as they seek new partners and additional communities to share in the ministry. Lord, you know that many of the communities served by freewheeling are communities where children experience complex trauma and families face significant barriers. We pray for an outpouring of your grace and mercy on both the participants and those working in the ministry to bring a loving kindness to the programming. We pray too for an abundance of resources to offer hope and help over and through the barriers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Together we pray for Horizons at St. Richard's and the director, Amy Sue Bacon. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of the Horizons at St. Richard's program as they work to address education equity and close the opportunity gap alongside the children and families in Mapleton Fall Creek and greater Indianapolis. 
Thank you for the blessing of another successful summer of joyful learning and shared community. Continue to shine your loving light upon the leaders and supporters of the program and give them strength and clarity as they work to provide resources and year-round opportunities for children and families to learn and grow. Bless, we pray, Horizons at St. Richard's with the financial resources needed to ensure the program continues providing high-quality out-of-school time opportunities. Watch over and keep safe the children, families, teachers, counselors, and other staff who participate in the program so that they continue to thrive in the times they are with the program and those times they are away. Continue to hold this ministry in your heart. Lord, in your mercy. Together we pray for the Mapleton Fall Creek Development Corporation and Executive Director David Bacon. Dear God of abundance, we thank you for the blessing of Mapleton Fall Creek Development Corporation with a loving and supportive community to serve. We ask your blessing on all the area churches, including this one, which followed your call to support this neighborhood uh, by using its resources to create the development corporation. Please bless all those who reside in the homes uh, built, sold, and renovated or leased by the Mapleton Fall Creek Development Corporation. We thank you for all who work to build and maintain these homes and pray for the protection and well-being Guide those in the management to exercise sound judgment with the resources the community entrusted to them to manage on their behalf. But most of all, Lord, please bless those in our community without homes. May they have hope and see barriers removed in your name. By the power of your love at work and in hearts, may leaders, governments, and communities be filled with compassion, generosity, and love along with the desire uh, and will to provide safe, affordable housing so that some, someday everyone in this community, city, state, and country, and indeed this world, will find a safe place to call home. Lord, in your mercy. Together we pray for the Open Door Ministry and the coordinator, Janae Woodson. God, we give thanks for all who make this ministry happen for the diverse mix of volunteer servers, for those who lead the daily program programming, for the relationship builders, for Chef Andre who prepares the meals, and for this generous congregation that has ensured that we are able to feed nearly 100 people every day with both food for the bodies and nourishment for their souls. We are grateful that the ministry is filled with individuals whose hearts are full of love for the community and who truly understand the importance of lifting up our neighbors who may not yet have the same daily blessings and luxuries we enjoy. Yet, Lord, we need more like them. We pray for volunteers who are ready to extend their hands, not just to serve, but to walk alongside those in need, offering the care, compassion, and love that Christ pours into us daily. We are grateful for for all who dine each day, for the many relationships that are forming around the tables, and for the lives that are being transformed. We continue to pray for wisdom and discernment as we seek to balance provision for the financial needs of this growing ministry with a desire to meet the spiritual, physical, and emotional needs of our neighbors while fostering greater faith, deeper relationships, and stronger communities. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Together we pray for TAB Community Care and the ministry of Linda McCabe. We give thanks that TAB has been blessed to be a blessing in this community. We pray that through this ministry of care and encouraging, our neighbors will experience the blessing of being heard, known, and cared for with dignity. We pray that each encounter, both the neighbor and the volunteer, will see the presence of Christ in the other. We seek to discernment for ways 
to more closely align this work with our vision of greater faith, deeper relationships, and stronger community, and to further integrate with the Open Door Ministry Cafe community. Lord, in your mercy. Together we pray for Tab Tutoring and Ministry Leader Carol Newell. We give thanks, Lord, for this longtime ministry and all who volunteer, assist, and lead it. We are grateful for their faithful service and thank you for calling them to this work. And we pray fervently for more like them as the waiting list for this ministry is quite long and the ministry has expanded. We praise you for the new opportunity to provide additional after-school activities of enrichment to the students from Phelan Academy prior to the tutoring time, and pray that your spirit would stir hearts with a desire to help with these additional responsibilities and opportunities to show your love to the children in our neighborhood. Holy God, we praise you for the 24 students who are served and the families they represent. We pray that these students will find academic support, but more importantly, that they will know they are loved and that their families will also experience support and encouragement from the TAB tutoring team. We pray too for the 22 stand students and families who are waiting patiently to experience the same when more tutors and helpers become available. May they not become discouraged, and may the staff at Phelan and the Oaks Academy be strengthened and encouraged as they provide additional while the students wait. Finally, we give you thanks for all who provide financial support to this ministry, is able to be creative and generous in the way it brings your love to students, the families and schools, and the community. Lord, in your mercy. Together we pray for Fresh Stop and leader Sally John. We give thanks for the Fresh Stop ministry and all who volunteer to ensure that healthy produce is available and affordable in our community. We are grateful for the community that is formed around this ministry and pray that many more neighbors will be added to its number. We pray too for wisdom and guidance as the leadership considers a possible winter fresh stop in 2025, as well as address concerns about the ministry location moving forward. Lord, in your mercy. Together we pray for the Moselle Sanders Foundation and the Thanksgiving meal. We pray for Stephanie Sanders and, at the, and all the staff of the foundation as they are in the height of fundraising and preparation for the 2024 annual Thanksgiving meal across central Indiana. We pray for the continued blessing of a dedicated, uh, pl dedicated planning committee and many volunteers so that the foundation will continue to be a blessing in feeding the hungry in our city. We give you thanks too for calling this congregation into a long history of support for this legacy ministry to our community and beyond. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Friends, the candle size, no matter small or large, gives off the same light. And all the light that you see represented here through, is spread throughout the world, through this local community, our state, our nation, and the world. That light starts with you, so thank you for the encouragement and the support for TAB Mission and Ministries. I invite you now to join in sharing the affirmation of our shared faith. <clears throat> In reverence of the Lord and serving him faithfully with all our hearts and considering the great things God has done for us, we believe that we are called to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, 
and teaching them to obey everything that Christ has commanded us. We remember and believe that God is with us, all of us, always to the end of the age. We believe that God has always been a refuge for the poor, a refuge for the needy in their distress, a shelter from the storm, and a shade from the heat. Therefore, we will offer food to the hungry and drink to the thirsty. We will welcome the stranger, clothe the naked, visit the imprisoned, and look after the needs of the sick and afflicted, trusting that in doing these things for others, we are doing them for Christ. We believe that